Hey, what up guys? We're back at it again with another awesome video for you today. Everyone knows who Kanye West is, even if you don't listen to his music. He has become not only a music icon, but at one point a presidential candidate, even though he didn't progress too far. Yeezy has gained countless fans over the course of his career in the music industry, as well as his career as a fashion designer. Much like anyone with a big name as Kanye as his, Kanye has made friends and enemies in the music industry. And that's exactly what we're going to get into today. In this video, we're going to be discussing various rappers that had something to say about Kanye West. Before we start, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know what it is. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. Chance the Rapper Chance the Rapper is a big name in both hip hop as well as the city of Chicago. Chance has been producing music for the past decade with his first release being 10 Day Mixtape in 2012. Throughout his career, he has collaborated with Kanye on multiple projects, and the two have grown up quite close. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel on his late night show, Chance even states that Ye has become a sort of a spiritual advisor for him. Yeah, Kanye's, uh, he's, man, he's so, like, uh, devoted right now. Like, he's very, uh, well versed in the Bible at this point. During an interview with Power 106 Los Angeles in 2016, Chance shows he's excited for future Kanye releases and plans on listening to them on repeat. I know Ye's working on something with Drake, which I haven't heard any of the songs from yet, but I'm sure it's all I'm gonna be listening to. When Chance was asked about Kanye in future collaborations, he responds by expressing how big of a fan he is of Kanye, especially since he grew up in Chicago. I'm a Chicago kid, so uh, I'm a super Ye fan. And I used to like watch all the, you know, the YouTube videos and like him speaking. Chance goes on to explain how Kanye's albums have shaped his life into what it is today. He does uh, Dark Twisted Fantasy and Watch the Throne and, and, and all of those things are albums that shape my life. Even though he's been waiting on a specific album to drop for a while. Post Malone. Post Malone is a major fan of Kanye West. Post got his start in the music industry with his hit White Iverson, which was followed closely by a record deal with Republic Records. The same year that the song was released, back in 2015, during an interview with Tim Westwood TV and Capital Extra, Post recalls meeting West at a birthday party. Ain't from nowhere, just you know, I met him at Kylie Jenner's birthday party. When asked how cool it was to work with Kanye, Post replied that it was awesome but terrifying at the same time. So scary. Yeah, it was oh, scary for real. in the studio. It was yeah. almost horrifying. Were you worried that you might let yourself down? Mm hmm. Were you in awe? Yes. During an interview with Hot New Hip Hop, Post Malone discusses how he first heard the track that featured himself, Kanye, and Ty Dolla Sign called Fade. He explains that it was a surprise to hear it and that it made him just turn up. We just made a song and then he invited us to the fashion show okay. and then he played it there and I didn't know if it was going to be with my vocals on it, but it was. But it was. And I went crazy. And that was pretty dope though. It was crazy. It was mind blowing. Childish Gambino. Donald Glover has been releasing music under the name Childish Gambino for the past 10 years. In that time, he has released four studio albums as well as multiple EPs and mixtapes. Anyone who has listened to a Childish Gambino album can hear the influence that Kanye had on him in terms of how it sounds. In an interview with Fuse in 2013, Gambino expresses how he's always been a fan of Kanye. I always, I mean like I always thought he was a genius. I love him. I think he's like the best. He even goes so far as to say that Kanye is a prophet and that he excels in great things outside of just his amazing music. Not even just like on music level. I don't, I don't, I try not to just be like he's a musician or like he's a rapper or like that because I think that's, that holds people back. I think he's just, he's one of like, like, like a prophet. Childish Gambino claims that people like Kanye West push you to be better and to work harder to move people forward. I think it makes people like, want to be better, to, to be better and work harder and push all of us forward. He also believes that people's opinions of Kanye hold him back instead of letting Wes do what he wants to do. And it's kind of sad that people don't let him do what he wants to do because I think he could help us a lot. Jay-Z Jay-Z is one of the biggest names in hip-hop and a major influence on new artists. It shouldn't surprise you too much that being as big as he is and Kanye being just as popular, the two have become close over the years. 
During an interview with David Letterman on his Netflix show, my next guest needs no introduction. Jay-Z mentions that he and Kanye have a brotherly relationship. That's my brother. It's, we, we're beyond friends. Really, like literally, my little brother is Kanye. Mm. He mentions that though the two disagree on some things, he and Kanye will always be cool and always be close. And like your little brother, things happen sometimes. Jay-Z continues to mention how he has watched Kanye from the beginning. He says he respects Kanye and believes that West hasn't changed as a person and that it is an honorable feat in his eyes. You know, I've watched Kanye from without an album. Like his the thing that I respect about him is he is the same person. Mm -hmm. When asked if Kanye would sit down and have a talk with Letterman, Jay-Z responds with a 100 percent and claims that Kanye West is brilliant. Would he <laughs> would he sit here and chat with me? Oh, 100%. He's, yeah. He's brilliant. Joe Budden. Joe Budden has one of the strongest opinions in hip hop and is always ready to speak his mind when it comes to criticism. There is a trend with his podcasts and interviews that we can see whenever they begin to talk about Kanye West. It's pretty clear the pump it up rapper doesn't like Yeezy too much, and he has never been shy about letting us know that. In an interview that he did with Chance in 2018, they begin discussing how Chance thinks that Kanye is the GOAT. Joe was quick to express his opinion of Kanye, which is that he's been in a steady decline lately. I, I feel like he's been on the decline for a while. And the I feel like, I feel I like, like you clearly Kanye know West. that too. Joe even goes on to say that if Chance didn't have his name on five of the tracks on Life of Pablo, it wouldn't have been worth hearing and believe that Chance knew that to be a fact, even if he wouldn't admit it. If I take your way. verse off of Life of uh, Pablo, like... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, Chance, give it up. Like, part of part of, part of of brotherhood is being able to keep it a buck with your family, with your kinfolk, no? In an episode of his podcast from 2020, Joe talked about how he felt about Kanye's presidential campaign. He claims to have no problem with his musical abilities, but when it comes down to it, Joe believes Kanye is more self-serving rather than giving back. I have zero problem with his, his musical genius, mm -hmm. his talent there. But on quite a few occasions, he has shown the ability to be more self-serving than, than us serving. Joe then went on to claim that he felt that he was being very divisive to the minority vote by the way he was acting during his campaign. Because he has a relationship with Trump, he's going to Trump it out. And it's nasty to me for black people as a whole when you are that divisive to the minor minority vote. Logic. Button isn't the only one who was talking about Kanye's political presence and his views. Logic dropped the album titled Everybody in 2017, and it features the track America. In the song, you can hear Logic's opinion on Kanye meeting Trump and sharing his political views. In an interview with Hard Knock TV, Logic discussed the track with Nick Huff Barilli, and he explains that despite what people think, he loves Kanye. You know, talking about Kanye, who first and foremost I love and idolize. Kanye is amazing, he's incredible, he's a fucking genius, and I wouldn't be here without him. He then continues to say that he said what he said in the song based on what he felt at the time. He explains that he thought something needed to be said in that verse and nobody else was saying it. I just felt I was looking around and wasn't nobody saying what needed to be said. Logic then once again says it's all about the love with Kanye. He just felt like he needed to speak up for what he believes in. So it wasn't, it's not hate, it's not that, it's like, it truly is love. I'm literally just saying, I'm gonna say what Kanye West won't. You know, this isn't about your music, you're a fucking genius, you're incredible, you're one of the greatest of all time to me personally, um, but I'm gonna say what you're not gonna say. Common. Common is an older head in hip hop, making his debut in 1992. His first album was named Can I Borrow a Dollar, but he didn't reach critical acclaimed fame until his 1994 album Resurrection. Common has always been close with Kanye, the two even performed together for The Chappelle Show back in the early 2000s. During an interview with Views, Common is asked about Kanye, to which he says they're like brothers. That's my brother. For, for the, as long as I'm on the planet, I love Kanye. That's my, that's my guy. He goes on to say that he doesn't believe that Kanye even realizes what he's doing when he supported Trump, saying that Kanye might not have done all that research to realize all the people he's hurting. I think he did, never really did a, like a diligence to know all the things that Trump was doing, or even if he had, he wasn't weighing the fact that, man, all these things that Trump is doing, you might like them for these reasons, but mm -hmm. man, do you understand the people that's being hurt? 
comment can't help but reiterate that no matter what, wherever Kanye is and whatever he's doing, he loves him and they're like brothers for life. You know, wherever he is right now, I still love him as my brother, yeah. but I never agree with him. Tyga. Tyga and Kanye West have more in common than just their love for hip hop. Both dated a Kardashian at one point. That's not how the two became close though. Tyga and Kanye spent a lot of time in the studio together and Tyga thinks that because Kanye clicked with him as a person. I think it's just something that's been growing for like the last couple of years um, with Kanye, like even in the studio with him, like when he was working on his album, when he was working on Yeezus, and, you know what I'm saying? I was like that, just in the studio and just being around and I think, uh, I think Ye just fucked with me as a person. Tyga continues to mention that Kanye's opinion is one that he holds in high regard. He really values what he has to say. He's somebody that I, I definitely value what he says. He compares Kanye's genius with other great musicians like Pharrell and Lil Wayne when it comes to the lyricism, saying that he groups Kanye with his other idols that are still living. You don't meet too many people like that, like, they give you that type of feeling, like Pharrell's another person that's like a genius to me. Uh, like Wayne, lyrically, you know what I'm saying? It's like a couple people that I really like idolize that are still living. With a name as big as Kanye West, as well as a fan base the size of his, you'll not only have people who love you, but you will also have people who love to hate you. As always though, it's great to see the bonds form between various artists and how their bonds can affect their music. How you feel about Yeezy lately? Be sure to let us know in the comments section. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and as always, be safe out there. We out. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like. And all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in five seconds.